Hey, well, welcome to day four, ladies and gentlemen, of our devotions based around the balmy Bible story that is Balaam and his donkey. This is day four. I encourage you, if you're jumping on just for today, to go back and look at day one, two, and three. In day one, I give context for this whole story. Day two, I've got a lesson. Day three, I've got a lesson. And today in day four, we have another lesson that we can pull out of this wild but amazing story about Balaam and his talking donkey. Lesson number three. Are you ready? We're going to dive straight in today. We ain't messing around. Lesson number three that we can take from this story is God wants us to trust him. Yes, the T word. God wants us to trust him. Throughout the entire account of Balaam and the donkey, I feel like God is trying to teach Balaam the power of trusting him. The power that is found in trusting God. We see frequently throughout this entire chapter that Balaam goes to God and gives, and God gives him clear direction on when to go and when not to go on what to do and what not to do. In fact, it even feels at times like God's changing his mind. Like one minute God's like, don't go. Then the next minute he is going. Then he say this, do this, do that. And the reality is it, it, it isn't God changing his mind. God is testing Balaam to see if he will follow his command, follow what he's asking him to do, follow the direction, even if It doesn't make sense to Balaam. Balaam probably could have been getting annoyed going, well, God, one minute you said go, the next minute you said don't, the next minute you said do this, that, that, that. And the reality is when God says to do something, our only response should be, yes, I will go. Or yes, I will not go. Or yes, I will do that. Or yes, I will not do that. God wants us to trust him. And he teaches Balaam amazingly in this story to trust him and rely on him. He isn't changing his mind in this story. He's testing Balaam to see if he would trust him. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, one of my favorite Bible verses says, trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Often it's easy to think we know best when it comes to making decisions on our life. But the reality is, it's clear, God is who we should be trusting. Not our own thoughts, not our own understanding, not our own agenda, but we should be listening to God's commands, what he's asked us to do, what he's asked not asked us to do, and trust him and follow him. Balaam learns that through the entirety of this chapter to keep trusting God. Balaam went on a bit of a journey with God, testing him multiple times. And I suspect he could have got confused and annoyed. And sometimes in our life, how easy it is to go, oh God, what are you doing? You've asked me to do that, but now I feel like you're asking me to do this. And we can get frustrated. But the reality is, friends, God knows us better than we know ourselves. He knows our thoughts and our heart better than we know our thoughts and heart. He knows us on a level we could never know ourselves because he is our creator and our designer. God has a plan mapped out for us. He has a route and a plan and a purpose. It is our responsibility not to question, not to, not to bring our own, our own thoughts and agenda into it. It's our job to trust him. It's our job to follow him. The reality is Balaam goes on this journey throughout this story. And actually, if you read on a few chapters, you'll see at a certain point, he stops trusting God and following his commands and stops doing what God has asked him to do. And it doesn't end well for Balaam. Spoiler alert, you can go and read what happens to him. But when he stops trusting God and stops following his commands, suddenly his life turns to chaos and suddenly things go out of a line. Why? Because he was outside of the will of God. He had stopped trusting and following him. So my question for today is, what is God asking you to do right now that might not make sense, but requires trust? I want you to take some time and go and pray into this today. Maybe God's put something on your heart over these last few weeks and you're going, surely not God. This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense to do this, to do that, to take that job, to quit that job, to move to this place, to give this amount of money. It doesn't make sense. But Is God testing you? Is God testing you saying, trust in me? I will make your path straight. Don't lean on your own understanding, but
but give me everything. Lay it all down and see what I will do with your life. This whole story is a, a story of trust. It's a story of Balaam learning to trust God. And I want you to take some time tonight, today to pray into that. Ask God, is there something that he wants you to do that maybe you've kind of pushed aside? Ask him if there's something new he wants to do through and in you that's going to require trust. I want you to pray into that right now. And I'm going to be praying for you in this moment as well as you do that. I'll see you tomorrow for our final day of this crazy Barney Bible story.